Now at four, a serial stabbing suspect arrested. Six people attacked since last week. What we've learned about the hospital worker accused in the stabbings. Plus winter storm warnings now issued ahead of our next storm. The one two punch of snow and cold about to sock the tri-state. That's where we'll start at four o'clock. Hello everyone, I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Let's get right on over to Storm Team 4's Dave Price for the latest on the chilly changes. Moving in, Dave. Yeah, and we've had adjustments in the forecast since we saw you at 11 o'clock this morning. And this winter storm warning is one of them. You can see to the south as we take a look at the Jersey coastline stretching back towards Philadelphia. That's where we could see uh, some significant accumulation, uh, five inches plus in that direction. Winter weather advisories now over stretch New York City head out all through Long Island and and into the Twin Forks. Tracking the snow, here's what you need to know. Most of Friday, we're going to see that wet white stuff falling from the sky. One to three inches is a pretty good average parameter for the tri-state area, but there is potential for a heavier band of snow in South Jersey. That's why we're upping the numbers down there. Both commutes could be impacted. I think the greater issue is going to be during the evening rush hour home and watch for falling temperatures and slick conditions. Outside right now, cloudy skies, 32 degrees. Uh, not a significant wind chill at this point, but keep in mind as the evening progresses, we are going to see those numbers drop. Do have a little bit of precip, little bit of precip, I should say, in the atmosphere. Most of it not reaching the ground, but Friday, as we head through the morning hours, the rain is out to sea. The snow is what we get, and we are going to see potentially a combination of very cold temperatures and wet weather in the form of snow through the day. We're going to see even colder weather on Saturday, brutally cold temperatures and wind chills in the teens and single digits before a slight rebound on Sunday. Are the 50s in the future? We'll tell you, and they're not that far off. We'll go through the details in a little while. Dave, thanks. We'll see you soon. I want to get back to that developing news, the new information in that scary stabbing spree. Linda Baccaro, News 4 New York. That's going to do it for us. News 4 at 5 begins right now. Now at 5.